hard drive upgrade for iMac A1418. Always begin by disconnecting the rear power cord. It's very important so that the power supply is not live. The tools we're going to need are a T8 screwdriver, plastic and metallic prying tools, tweezers, a blow dryer, and M3 double sided tape. Begin by heating up the glue that's securing the screen to the iMac. Uh, it's glued on, so go ahead and heat it up for about 4 or 5 minutes to make sure it's nice and soft. And then go ahead and start prying in with the sharp tool and one of the corners. Please note that if you're using a metallic tool like we are here, there's a possibility you can scratch up the interior of the screen. So go very slow and try to use a plastic tool instead of a metallic tool first. Um, go ahead and go all the way around the contour and break that seal. When the glue is warm, it should be able to come apart pretty easily. Then you can wedge in like a piece of plastic and then pry it and get that separation going. Once the separation is started, you can gently pull back on the screen up top and expose the two connections. Let's take a closer look here. Uh, there's the um, screen connection and the power for the screen. Go ahead and pull that power for the screen first uh, by gently wiggling it out of its socket and then the actual uh, screen data cable. Go ahead and pull on that little tongue uh, and then unclip it like that. With those two connections uh, unhooked, we can go ahead and lower the screen, but it's still attached with the uh, foam tape double-sided glue that they have. So go ahead and uh, use a tool to go ahead and cut that apart. Uh, we're just using a metallic prying tool here. Uh, once you got that separated, you can just pull it right out. We'll need to remove this tape here. Uh, we'll be putting double-sided tape over it once we reassemble the unit. The hard drive is secured in this bracket with two holsters that are secured with four T8 screws. Go ahead and remove the one in the top and the one in the bottom here. That will release the first holster. Go ahead and remove that. Now the T8 screw in the top here. And then the T8 screw on the bottom of the second holster. With these two screws removed you can remove the holster. Now the hard drive is just sitting in there tight uh, with his gaskets. Go ahead and just pull it up and gently disconnect it from the back of the SATA cable by pulling on it. There we go. Now let's go ahead and remove these two um, um, side um, holders that make it tight in the slot. Ahead, they just peel right off with the residual glue. This is great unlike other models where they use proprietary screws uh, This makes the installation much easier hard drive installation a 1418 Installing a hard drive. It's as simple as removing it. Go ahead. Please back the uh, sides the rubber gasket sides that um, are just uh, Using residual glue go ahead and plug in that SATA cable can only go in one way so you're not going to get that wrong. Go ahead and push that in, clip it in and uh, it might take a little bit of uh, fiddling around with it at that angle. Once that's clipped in, go ahead and tuck the gaskets in so that the hard drive is nice and tight in its slot. Now go ahead and get those uh, uh, retaining clips and secure them with the two T8 screws, one on the top, one on the bottom on the left side. And then the second clip, one on the top and one on the bottom as well. That will re-secure the drive. It's very important to remove all of the residual uh, double-sided tape that was left 
from when we took the screen apart. Go ahead and remove as much as you can. Try to get all of it, make sure there's no gap. Put the double sided tape all the way around the entire contour, especially all the places where we removed the previous double sided tape from the factory. Now, sometimes you wanna double stack that. You wanna put two rows on. You put one row on and then go ahead and remove the uh, uh, guarding you know, uh, material. And then on top of that, make another layer if you want to be extra careful. Now go ahead and remove the plastic from the screen itself uh, if you're putting back the old one. Make sure it's nice and clean, aligned it so you can get a nice good seal. Make sure it's uh, uh, oriented properly and it's not sticking out too much to the left or the right. Now go ahead and lift it up and go ahead and connect those two connections. The LVDS or the screen cable, the retina display, whichever model you have first. This is the data for the display. Go ahead and put that in. Sorry about the blurriness here, but you get the concept. Make sure to click that in and uh, that it's nice and sealed. Now for the power, and go ahead and click that in. Also again, sorry for the bl blurriness. Now go ahead and clamp it up. And that's it. Apply generous pressure, making sure you get a nice good seal.